Metals play a huge role in our lives on a day-to-day basis, and they're really, really vital in technologies that we need uh, to transition to a, to a net zero world. Electronic waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams. Currently, it's worth about $63 billion annually. So it's really important to recycle a lot of our waste electronic products. If they're not recycled, they're sent to landfill, where many of the plastics and the metals can leak into the environment and cause damage. The technology we've developed at DevCycle offers a real alternative to the way it's conventionally processed, which involves energy-intensive smelters, which are highly pollutive, or really toxic chemicals that are used to dissolve the metals out of the electronic waste. The technology we're using at DESCycle is a technology platform called uh, Deep Detected Solvents, or DES for short. Particularly in the case of e-waste, our process does not use any hazardous chemicals and it's completely recyclable and it has a high selectivity towards the metals contained within the electronic waste. The way we make our DES is we'll take low-cost bulk commodity compounds, organic compounds, so mix them together in the correct ratios. What's really nice about this process is we can make liquids from solids without requiring any additional heat into the process. Our e-waste uh, process uses a DES. DES provides a perfect environment for dissolving metals. So what we've done is we add our e-waste into the DES. As you can see, all of the metals have been dissolved from the e-waste. Not only can we move towards cleaner technology to reduce our carbon footprint, but also DES is really potent in the way it targets a lot of different materials, which means that we can unlock value in materials that are historically very, very challenging or uneconomic to process. And so this is where we think the potential of DES really comes in. CPI are helping us transition the technology from lab scale to commercial plant scale. We're taking the groundbreaking research that was developed at the University of Leicester and we're developing a full process based on this DES technology, understanding all parts of the process and we're going to look at scaling that up over the course of the next 12 months. CPI is a deep tech innovation organisation. We support companies develop products and processes and ultimately help to get technologies to market that have outstanding impacts in terms of sustainability and the environment and health benefits as well. I think it's really important to partner with someone who really understands how to take that process from bench through to commercial scale and we've got the scientists and engineers plus the facilities on the ground that can help companies to do that. So we're really excited about this use of DES chemistry um, from a sustainability and an environmental perspective. We think it will have huge impacts in terms of reduced carbon footprint, reduced chemical toxicity that are currently associated with standard metal processing routes. Oh, the future for DES Cycle is really exciting. DES truly has the potential to change the world. It's a very clean technology, it's a low carbon technology. It can replace a lot of the existing processes that haven't changed in close to 100 years and it can really change the way we transition to a net zero and low carbon economy.